Hey guys, welcome to Pink Flamingo, our much anticipated boat tour of our Lagoon 450F. We are a family of five living full time on our sailboat, plus our dog. We can't wait to show you our home. Let's do it. Come on. Welcome home. Come on in where it's cold. Air conditioning is nice. Hey, This is where all the magic happens. This is our galley, kitchen, salon, saloon, whatever you want to call it. This is where we spend a majority of our time. This is where the kids do their homeschool. This is where we cook. This is, you know, this is the heart of our home. Oops, the door's open a little bit. Keep this, that is, heat out. <laughs> this is the heart of our home. So, you know, many people have asked me personally and also in comments about, you know, how does it differ being in a home to living on a boat? And really, it's just all about livability. You know, we went from 3,000 square foot to a camper, to a 34 foot boat, and to now this boat. This boat is 46 foot. It is four bedroom, te technically a six bedroom, but four bedroom, four bath. We all have our own space, and it's fantastic. We love it. We spend, we get to adventure. We get to take our home with us anywhere we go. Um, so it's, it's fantastic. So let me just go over some of the systems of our boat. Um, in the kitchen, we have what you would have in any kitchen. I have tons of refrigeration. As a big family, refrigeration was always really important to me. So we've got a fridge here. We've got, we have two of these Dometics. They're a fridge freezer combo, or you can make the whole thing a fridge or the whole thing a freezer. And then over here, I have another isotherm freezer. This is the stand up one. So this is, you know, all freezer space all the way down. And like I said, I have another one of these. And then I have an induction top cooktop, which I love. And then I have a propane cooktop and also a propane oven. So we can kind of switch back and forth. And depending on where we are, if we know we're going to have the choice to be able to fill on propane, we have these. But we have 3,000 watts of solar on our boat, which is more than enough for us for livability. With our solar, we're able to do our water maker, which is a desalinator. We're able to take ocean water and turn it into fresh drinking water. We also have all of our systems with, like I said, the refrigeration is all ran off of solar. We have a washer and dryer. Anything that you would have back home, we have here. I've got a Vitamix blender. I have a juicer. I've got a coffee maker. Literally anything you would have at home, we have here. So tons of storage on this boat. Every cabinet has these little locks, so when we're underway, you can lock them. But I mean, all of these... I mean, it's all storage. We've got foods, we've got vitamins, we've got food, 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 more food. Even in the floorboards, we have food. Where a river is, river, scoot over a little bit. Even where a river is, this is all food storage. So before we prepare for any kind of passage, we will provision or take groceries and stock the boat in every nook and cranny so we don't have to worry about it. Over here, oh, I even have a bread maker. That's another thing. So there's no, there's no shortage of modern luxuries on our boat. Um, this is called the Serbo. This shows us our battery usage, our solar charge, our AC output, our AC input, and our DC output. Um, it also shows us our water levels to show you how much water we have. We have 150 gallons of storage of water in our tanks. This is our VHF radio. This is how we communicate to other boats and if there were an emergency. And then we have a surround sound system in our boat. So that is our surround system. This is also where we do some homeschool work, editing. Um, the kids have their board games. I also have some storage down here, but the kids have their board games and homeschool. All of these chairs have storage in them. Literally anywhere you could imagine there could be storage, we have it on this boat. So we'll take you over to the port side, which is the boys' side. The port aft is River's room. The port forward is Denim's room. This room is really cool because River is a little Lego man. So. Each of the rooms are kind of eclectic in their own and what they like and what they do. 
Remember, what's your favorite part about your room? <laughs> that it's your own? <laughs> so the Legos is River's favorite part. Also, each of the rooms have their own full-size bathroom. So one thing that we loved about the Lagoon 450, open this up and get us some light, was a lot of the boats that we looked at had what's called a wet head. So basically it's just a small shower that comes out of the wall here and the floor is wet so you can just you can just rinse off and you could do that now. I mean, I could take the shower, this whole room can get wet. But we really love the idea of all of us having our own shower. So, you know, this is a full size, it's down at River's Height, but this comes up to here and you've got a full shower with hot and cold water. And that is in every single bedroom. They all look the same. It's also cool. All of these rooms have full size mirrors. There's the light. Full size mirrors behind the door. So it makes the room feel bigger and not that they're. You get to see how pretty you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then this is Denim's room, which is quite arguably my favorite room in the boat. Come on in and I'll show you why. So we went from living in an RV for six months and then our small boat, our 34 foot, for almost a year with no washer and dryer. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> so well, something that's really cool that I don't know why this isn't in every home is this is a dual washer and dryer combo. So I don't ever have to worry about forgetting to move the clothes from the washer to the dryer ever again. I just push start, it does a full wash cycle and then push and then it, on its own, it does a dry cycle. So I absolutely love this. A lot of people have told us that the dryers weren't very good on these, um, that it was kind of useless. You wash and then you have to hang dry them. I have not found that to be the case. I've never had an issue with the dryer on this. It dries the clothes fantastic. And like I told you guys a hundred times, we're family of five, no problems. So also in Denim's room is all of my supplements, um, our supplements. This is you know, when you go offshore and you're out in the middle of nowhere, it's good to be stocked up on anything and everything you'd ever need. So homeopathy, I've got random tinctures and medications for immunity and so on and so forth. And then again, everybody has their, their shower. And then we'll go ahead and go over to the starboard side. Over on the starboard side is mine and Michael's room and Lavera's room. Each side mirrors each other, so it's kind of redundant, but we'll go ahead and show you just because it's cool. And they're different because of the personalities. This is Lavera's room. Pause that real quick, babe. This is Lavera's room. She definitely, you can tell, is a girl's room. She has accessorized. And, you know, one thing that we didn't want our kids to lack is their own space and things they need. So... I mean, a lot of these toys that are in here came from our home back home. She brought them with us. She brought her stuffies. She's got her books. She's got little toy kitchens and stacking things. And a new doll. it's a new doll. Her grandma got her. Um, so, I mean, everything that we had back home, they had here. And yep, and she sinks. And then, again, they all have their own bathroom. which means we have four bathrooms to clean. <laughs> All right, River, go ahead and go upstairs so we have a little bit of room. Okay. And then this is Michael and I's room. He would probably argue this is where the magic happens. Yeah. But again, we have storage, we've got the bathroom, all the same things that we brought. I mean, this is the stuff I had in our room back home. I've added some shells and plants along the way, but Everything that we had back home, we have here. Go back upstairs and we will take you guys to the outside portion of the boat tour. We're gonna kind of stay away from all of the ins and outs of all of our systems and how they work and yada yada, just for the sense of time. But like I told you, we've got everything you need to live off grid. Our boat is fully functional. Before we left stateside, we did a lot of things in this boat to make it blue water ready. I went over those things kind of briefly about our water maker, our washer and dryer, our, we put new inverters in the boat, we added the solar array. So we'll show you those things, but we don't have to go, we won't bore you to death. Unless you like those things, maybe Michael do a part two video of all the mechanical stuff. Hey. 
So this is our outdoor area. This is where we spend a lot of time with the kids in the mornings and evenings. Um, like I said on the video in the beginning, this is we have an outdoor cooking area. We've got the um, air fryer convection oven. We also have a grill over here. We've got this beautiful solar array. We'll go to the top and you can see it. This is a six panel. Um, and then we've got four walkable for, like I said, a total of 3000 watts. There's that beautiful cooler I was talking about that we have outside as well. And the kids have these great swings they use. We move them to the ends and they jump off the boat. Our davit systems back here, I didn't go over that. The davit, this is what brings our dinghy up. Um, our dinghy, our tender for people who don't boat is our car. We don't have a car. So when we go out to different islands and we wanna go inland to either take the dog to go to the bathroom or take the kids to explore islands, we've got our tender. So if you come over here, I'll show you that. We have it down right now because we're working on the davits. Usually it's hanging right there. There's our guard dog, somebody's here. Um, here, but right now our tender is right here. Don't drop it in the water. And one of the main reasons that we bought this boat and that we like this specific make and model is because of this. This is the flybridge or the helm. Up here, it's like a whole other seating area. So we've got, when, when we're underway and we're under a long, on a long passage, the kids can lay here. We also have cushions that are right now are being stored that go up in this area, which this turns into like a huge, large day bed. This bimini that's down right now, this metal frame comes up. It's got a canvas stretch in it on top of it, and it covers this whole area. So all of this is in shade. There's our beautiful solar array, and all this is walkable. So you can walk all this space up here. This opens up and brings airflow underneath for the space downstairs. Um, but the kids will sit up here sometimes. Um, we've got our main sail. And then all of our winches are power winches, which we didn't have on our old boat, which is really nice. We don't have to hand winch the, this does the main and the jib. And then these are our walkable solar panels. And what's also really nice about this boat is the safety of it. There's these handrails really anywhere you go. So when you're walking, you can hold on to anything. So it's nice when you're underway because you're able to grab and hold. And then at the front of the boat, this is for non-boat people, the bow of the boat. We've got two beautiful trampolines, and then we have this large seating area. In the seating area is also storage. So we have every single area under here is storage. We've got our great canopy that we put when we're um, typically at anchor or sitting somewhere for quite a bit of time. It casts great shade and also helps keep the galley cool. And then these hatches, there's one where Michael's standing now that mirrors the exact same thing. From the front of this all the way to here is storage. So this opens up. It's actually considered um, crew cabin. So there's beds under the bottom of this where all the storage is where you can actually sleep in here and they open through the window. Um, but we keep our paddle boards in here. We keep our lines, extra coolers. And when we're not using them, we keep our scooters. So we've got our electric scooters here that we used um, when we're at marinas and sometimes we even put them in our dinghy and bring them with us. So that's our boat. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us on our much anticipated boat tour of our Lagoon 450F. We look forward to seeing you and showing you more of our stuff that we have done. I hope this answers any and all questions and if you have any, you can put them in the comment and hopefully we can answer anything else. Thank you. Hey guys. Hey guys. All right, so the plan was is to end the video there with some spectacular drone footage, but unfortunately the weather is not cooperating for us to fly the drone here, and there is a potential for a hurricane brewing in the Caribbean. Invest 94 is out there right now, heading directly towards us, and this is supposed to be unprecedented. That doesn't, yeah. it's an unusual trek that it's making, so 
What does that mean, River? Uh, that means there's a hurricane forming out there, and we need to do proper measurements, like pulling the boat out, uh, taking the sails down, or preparing for storm surge, tying the boat down on the hard, and hopefully it's nothing crazy like Milton was. Yeah, exactly. River is keeping a close eye on Milton. So, uh, worst case scenario is if we are to have the storm surge, it could be eight to ten foot here. So we need to go ahead and start scheduling those appointments tomorrow morning at nine a.m. to get our boat scheduled, get it pulled out as soon as we can for that, and then um, get those sails taken down, and we'll be ready to go. Yep, and I've went ahead and made an Airbnb reservation and got us a rental car inland. So we can prepare for the worst, but hopefully it all falls apart and we'll just be overly prepared. Yeah, we all have our fingers crossed that it will just fall apart. So keep rooting for us. Stay tuned for next week as we run from a hurricane. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye.